What's up, hi, how's it going? I just finished up my workout for the morning. You're not even sweaty. <sighs> Cause I've been cooling down. So this is why I use this cup so much. This is why I love this cup. Yesterday we went and picked up some ice because we need more ice. Love you. Love you. I put ice water in my cup last night before I went to bed and Do you hear that? There's still ice left in here. <laughs> but, and if you let the ice melt, it'll turn into water. Mm -hmm. The ice is just frozen water, right? Yeah. C H I. <laughs> this is that. It doesn't really spell anything, but I like it. <laughs> Stop. Do you know where the island is? Hang on. So, we picked up these maps like last week sometime. This one is just of the United States, obviously. And this one is the world map. So we've been kind of marking out like places we want to go. It's dry erase though. So we can, hey. sorry. So we can mark anywhere on here and then erase it. So Calvin, we showed Calvin where we are at in Germany. And since then he's been drawing different routes to places, of places he wants to go. Loving it. Our little travel buddy. All right, I think it's about time we close these up says it's 83 outside, so we'll leave that one open for Zeke. He's okay. Hang on, you're okay. This one's still open, sweet baby. I'm not gonna close this one, I'm just gonna pull it down just a little bit, okay? Looks like a doggy door. Yep. You can still lay, go lay down. You're fine, you can lay in the sun. Go lay in the sun, sweet baby. I'm trying to help this guy be healthier. We're trying to help him lose weight, just like mommy's trying to lose weight, right, Ziggy Bear? Why, Ziggy Bear? So I'm gonna make him some Greek yogurt and peanut butter frozen treats. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a hug. Can I help? It shows you can use any one of these for a base, flavor it with any one of these, and mix in any one of these. But we're gonna add a little honey for a little bit of sweetness. Oh, I can stir it now. Should we use those, or? I think my huge 24 piece pan might be a bit excessive. Oh, I... And these I think would be too small. Yeah. yeah. I did it. <laughs> in the freezer for a little bit and then I'm gonna be all done. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna taste test it? Do you like it? I just put my feet up right there, my other foot up, and then I just lift my hands up and then my feet. <laughs> oh, is that Thank you. Uh oh, what's this package? They're uh, plates. Valve stems on your bike. Really? Yeah. Those will look cool on Calvin's bike. Hello there, handsome dog. <laughs> Supposed to be napping over there grinning. This uh, doesn't have a name on it except for ours. I'm assuming it's the same person, right? I don't know. I don't know if this is from Manuel or if this is from someone different, but whoever it's from, thank you. That was an awesome idea. Calvin will love it when he uh, wakes up from the nap he's supposed to be taking. Yeah, you do need to take a nap. Owned. Got him. But we ran on base really quick. Caramel. We had to mail out a couple of things that I didn't get to mail out because there was a really long line. Also, I bought a Fitbit. Yay! I try to track most of my meals and everything. There's a fly in here, I need a fly swatter. I try to keep track of like my meals and my workouts and things like that on most days. <sighs> Stop surviving, just die! On good days, I try to track everything. Bad days, whatever. But it's hard to track like all of my food without being able to properly track all of like the movement I'm doing and the activities that I do. And though I do a workout almost every day, I don't have like an accurate way to track 
what I'm burning during those workouts. So I got this because it'll help me do that better. I have like the health app on my phone, which kind of tracks like your steps and your movements and things like that. But I don't have my phone on me all day. Usually it's just sitting somewhere and it doesn't track all the times that I'm moving. So this attached to my body now will help track that. I only have to tighten it when I'm doing workouts so it can better track my heart rate. And other than that, I just keep it sort of loose. It has the time, it has my steps, it has my heart rate, miles I've walked, uh, calories I burned I think. So I still have dishes to clean up because I've been procrastinating. I've been playing around with this and uh, I, changed the, I changed the time so that it goes sideways instead of like up and down. I like that better. And I was um, adding tags to videos and things like that, making playlists, and I got distracted. But it's now 10 after four and I need to make some food because Travis is going to work soon. And Calvin and I are gonna be going on base to something called Freedom Fest. Um, it's something that they do every year, I guess, here um, on the 4th of July and the day before. I thought it was only tomorrow, but apparently it starts today and there's a concert today at nine o'clock. Rodney Atkins is performing. So I'm gonna try to go to that with a friend. The people whose house we went to for a barbecue the other day, um, she asked if I wanted to go with them because both of our husbands work tonight. We're gonna take the kiddos and uh, see if we can have a good time. But I need to get some food made. So I had grilled some steak the other day and yesterday I had made pulled pork and I don't have enough of either of those to make like another single dish with leftovers. So I'm gonna combine the two and make some chili in here. So let's see if I can make this and make it good without um, a whole lot of time. <laughs> All right, so we have tomato. So because I'm weird and I leave things on the counter overnight, the pulled pork is actually still in here, so I'm just gonna turn it on, which means I need to plug this in right here. It's already on. We'll do slow cook or beans chili. No, that's not what I want. Porridge. No, those are all pressure. Okay, so I'm just gonna put everything in here and then turn it on and it'll heat it up really quick. Perfect, that'll work better. But first I still need to do these so that I can have some more to strain the beans. So I'm trying to get ready now and I'm watching Makoog Squadron's latest video, but I just heard it beep at me in here that our food is done. So I came and released pressure uh, and then our chili's done. Yo, it looks so good. <laughs> you wanna see? Cool. Oh, <laughs> I had chili. I need to finish getting ready. What did I do with my phone? I honestly wish that they would um, do daily videos because they're the type of people that I would like to, you know, keep up with. But they kind of, for now, are more doing like helpful videos, like she's pregnant. So they're doing videos about that and about like being new within the military and stuff like that, which are really helpful. But I kind of wish that they would post more because I like watching their videos. I like seeing how they're doing and everything, so. If you're curious what it's like for a new family in the military, then you can check them out. I have their channel linked in the description below, McCoog Squadron. It's Susan and Justin McCoog. Um, they've been married for a year. I think they just hit a year being married. 
um, but they've been together for longer than that. I'm gonna finish getting ready though. I don't know if I want to straighten my hair. This is like dried, like I didn't blow dry it. It was just towel dried and then I brushed it and this is how straight-ish it is. I think it'd be straighter had I not put it behind my ears. But I still like to straighten it because it takes out the little bit of fluffiness that it has. I think I'm just gonna pull half of it back though because we're gonna go to Freedom Fest so we'll be outside and in the sun and I had to change my white shorts too because I, uh, I didn't want them getting super dirty. So I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna head out. Do you know how hard it is to get even eyebrows? I look ridiculous right now but I cannot get my eyebrows even. I just can't do it. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Sure. That's good enough, yeah. Poor Ziggy, Calvin got him all excited and he can't go because this event says no dogs. But Calvin got him all excited like he could go and now he, I feel like his heart's broken. I love you, we'll see you in a little bit, okay? Be the best dog in the whole wide world. Crazy. All right, so we got Daddy's lunch. So I'm hoping this isn't a sign of what trying to drive on base is gonna be like because of the concert and everything tonight. It's 6.20 and I'm hoping that there's just something slow going on at the gate and that inside isn't gonna be this bad. Calvin and I just pulled up. We just parked. I think this parking lot's pretty full. This parking lot's kind of hidden though. It's like behind some of the newer dorms. I don't think a whole lot of people know about it. I happen to, so we came here first and there was a free parking spot. So we're gonna walk over. We're waiting for Salcedo's wife, Brittany. She's meeting us here, but I don't know how long they're gonna be. So Calvin and I are just gonna slowly wander and wait for them and see what we can see. You excited? Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh man, we must be getting closer. Oh wow, they have like a huge stage set up. I have something in my shoe. It looks like the Ferris wheel is so far. There's still something in my shoe. It does look really far, huh? We're here! We're here! We're here. All right, so this is Freedom Fest. Do you want to go wander? Yeah.
name for the horse? Horse. Horse. We just stopped over by like the firehouse set up over there. Got Calvin a hat. Now we're waiting on snow cones. Brittany got us snow cones. Thank you. This guy. I missed all of that. They flew right by and I missed it. I didn't have any hands. There's a white one and a brown one. There's two poodles over here. The white one's not wearing any pants, but I can't see him. Show me your poodle. There it is, he's wearing no pants. Poodle with no pants. Unfortunately, everyone knew about the same ATM I knew about, so now I'm waiting in line. Do we really need to ride rides that bad? Yes. <laughs> it's like it's starting to fill up a little bit. Now that the sun's going down, it's not nearly as hot. Look who we ran into, who remembers Victoria? She's really, really hungry and angry. It's 8.56. Oh, it's 8.58, am I wrong? Mine says 56. Anyways, Rodney Atkins comes on at nine. It's probably why there's all the people here. I have not seen so many butt cheeks than I have here. And brand new Wranglers that you can tell have never been worn. Brand new boots, yeah. Travis and his car hearts were fitted really well. Look who else I just spotted. <laughs> so we were just hanging out, they're playing some music back here. We're kind of too far away. Um, Victoria just left though to go and get some food and we just ran into Jayla, Jayla and her mom's here. <laughs> she thought she saw us and thought she recognized us. Saw my camera and knew it had to be me. So she came over and said hi and I'm so glad you did. Thank you. I love meeting people, it's so cool. You're welcome, bye. <laughs> It's not what it's called, it's bumper cars. Bumper cars. Oh, you guys are great, thank you so much, you killed it. Not a single out there. Have these youngins looking up at you and you're doing such, you're just sacrificing everything for our freedoms. And in my four year old set of four letter words, it started with this, and I was concerned. So I said, son, where'd you learn to talk like that? It's a kid with a chance, it's a rock and roll band 
Calvin wanted to test out the new little lights that he got for his bike. <laughs> Those are pretty sweet. What do you think, Vicky? I like it. I, however, am heating myself up some more chili because I was trying to behave and not eat a bunch of fried stuff there. So I only had a snow cone and lemonade. That bowl was really hot for being such a good baby while we were gone, and always, we're gonna let him try one of his new treats. Do you wanna try it? <laughs> Is it cold? You ate it already? My goodness, you are the master. Oh, is that so good? Was that so good? We let him try one of these. He loved it, you smell like peanut butter now. Mmm, -hmm. was that so good? But now that we're home, I'm gonna eat some and then I actually have another video to edit. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video, our first concert here, our first big event here, Freedom Fest 2018 was a success, I think. There's still a part two of it tomorrow that we may go back if Travis wants to go back. Not sure yet, but we'll see if he wants to go back. Calvin wanted to ride some of the rides, so we'll maybe be back tomorrow. But you'll just have to wait and see. But we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let other people know that it was a good video. Comment below how many of those Rodney Atkins songs that you knew, and if you know any Rodney Atkins songs at all. Make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you next time. Before now, that is that, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye. I saw you from the side, yeah. and I was like, is that her? You better. So I went on the front, and I was like, she has a camera. That is her. <laughs>